Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hounds. And for this video I'm going to be ranking the movies from the Alien franchise. And this was a bit of a difficult one to do because there's some movies from this franchise that I love. There's some movies that I don't like. And then there's some movies that I like as individual films but don't like so much as alien films. So it's just a bit of working out as to where they should go on the countdown. But I've come up with a list. So I'll start with the movie that I enjoyed the least. And that is... Alien vs Predator Requiem. Now, this one out of all the movies is the one that I remember the least. But from what I remember, I really wasn't all that impressed by the film. I didn't like the characters in this film. It's all kind of like high school teenagers who are all really annoying. And this was like the first Alien film to not feature like space travelling kind of people. All the all the alien movies before this, they were all kind of like sort of seasoned, grizzled space cowboy type characters. We were all kind of had a bit of uniqueness about them. This one, it's just high school characters who are all really annoying. I also didn't like the it being set on planet Earth. I know we've been waiting a long time to see aliens get down to Earth, but for me, this was a really underwhelming use of the Earth setting. I do remember there being a bit of decent alien and predator action towards the end of the film. But on the whole, you you have to get through a lot of kind of teenage drama to get there. So on the whole, it was a disappointing one. Like I said, I don't remember it all that much, but I'm not all that inclined to revisit it either. So this one is the one that I enjoyed the least. Okay, next up is Alien 3. So this movie, quite famously now, spent a long time in production hell. There's a lot of difficulties making this movie and it shows. There's very little I like about Alien 3 and there's so much that I, I don't like. I don't like the fact that Hicks and Newt are killed off right at the beginning of the movie. That turned me off straight away. I really didn't like it. I don't like the prison setting. I think it's too dark. I don't like the characters, they all look the same in appearance, so you can't really tell who's where, who's doing what, who's been killed off, that kind of thing. Suffers from, from some bad CGI as well in this movie, and I don't like the POV shots of the alien. That's not really a, a, a standard trope that you kind of see in alien movies, so the POV shots didn't really work for me. And on the whole, this movie is just so depressing. I remember when I was a kid and I watched this for the first time and I was really excited to see it as a continuation of Aliens and I couldn't make it through the film. I switched it off quite early because it was so downbeat and so and so depressing and that's kind of never improved over the years after re-watching it. There are a few things upon re-watching it over the years that I kind of give it credit for but on the whole this really is a, not a good film for me. Not one that I enjoy at all. Okay, next up is Alien vs Predator, the first one. And I remember there was so much hype for this movie when it came out. And when it came out, I thought it was okay. I had a good time watching it at the cinema. But over the years, it's, uh, it's not kind of aged all that well for me. I don't particularly like the Antarctic setting and the pyramid setting. Seems a bit random and I don't quite buy why the aliens or predators would would be in that kind of that kind of environment. It just doesn't really work for me. The characters aren't particularly great in this one. And I really kind of don't like the fact that the the predators they kind of side with the humans towards the end of the film. They're not full on on the same side, but I feel that they kind of humanise the plight of the predators a little bit in order for them to kind of defeat the aliens and I really didn't like that at all in this film. It's not it's not bad, I will watch it and I'll get some enjoyment out of it but it's it, it, certainly not great. Alright, Alien vs Predator. The next movie is Prometheus. 
Now, this is one of the movies that I, as a standalone film, I really like. I think it's got a lot of merit. As an alien film, it doesn't work for me at all. So, as Prometheus, I think it's great. I really like the story. I like the detail that it goes into. I like the special effects and, and things like that. The um, android character, David, he's a, a very intriguing character. And I like uh, I like sort of the, the development of him over the course of the movie. It's got a few scary scenes as well, like when they go into the, the cabin area and that snake thing wraps around the guy's arm and, and things like that. It does deliver in kind of the sci-fi horror department. All that works really well for me. As a precursor to Alien, I, I don't buy it at all. It doesn't work for me. Prometheus is, is way too kind of... It's on a on a different level of storytelling that doesn't flow all that well into Alien. Prometheus, as I've, I've said before in previous videos, I find it quite existential and quite philosophical, and I think it explores regions of, of the universe and man's existence that is very in-depth. And that doesn't work as a as a precursor to Alien, which for me is just a very stripped down, simple story of an alien killing people off in space. The 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 the, the consistency doesn't flow from Prometheus to Alien to me, so I do have trouble with that. But as a as an individual film, I do I do like it. Next up is Alien Covenant. And again, I have exactly the same issues as Prometheus. As its as a, its own movie, I I think it's it's good. I don't like this as an alien film at all. I don't see this as an alien as an alien film. I, the publisher have just called it uh, Covenant and made it its own story because this for me is kind of as far away to the essence of what the alien movies are as as you can get. Way, just way too in-depth, way too existential, way too much focus on the androids. So, yeah, as an alien film, not for me. But I do like the film itself. I love that they go down to that planet and the way they, they don't know what's on it and those creature things get inside their, their orifices and things like that. That was pretty cool. Definitely not a perfect film. Um, not, not great, but one that I did get some enjoyment from and it held my interest pretty well. But for me, it's not an alien film. Okay, so next up, uh, my top three. At number three is Alien Resurrection. Again, not a perfect film, but one that I do have a good time every time I watch it. This for me, this is the this is the alien movie where if you just want to take your brain out, watch a bit of cool action, eat some popcorn. This is kind of your go-to alien film for that. It's it's not on on a, the same sort of level as like Prometheus or Alien Covenant in terms of its storytelling, and it's not on the same level as the first two movies in in terms of filmmaking. But it's okay. It's pretty good fun. The aliens in it look look pretty cool. I like the characters in this one. I thought it had some pretty decent characters. Um, so, yeah, one that overall I, I have a good time watching. I like the underwater scene as well, although it's really far-fetched. You could never hold your breath that long. I do think that's a pretty cool scene. Okay, so down to the, the top two. And it's occurred to me that this franchise is actually quite wishy-washy. There's not actually that many great movies in it, but the franchise is held up by two amazing epic movies, and it's really, really hard to pick a one or a two. But in number two, at number two, just is Aliens. Now, for years, this was my number one movie in the franchise. I absolutely love it. I have nothing bad to say about Aliens. I could watch it now. It is probably the best sequel ever made. It's action-packed, it has fantastic characters that you care about, the aliens look fantastic, the alien queen is incredible. It is an, an epic sci-fi horror film that I absolutely love. And nothing bad to say to say about it. Like I say, it is fantastic. Probably the best strong female character we'll ever see in Ripley, and she probably has the best role in this movie. This is the best 
representation of Ripley, in my opinion. It's a, a near-perfect film. So, just at number two, almost at number one, is Aliens. But at number one is Alien. And I, I, I never used to enjoy this as much as Aliens, but my... I won't say my tastes have changed, but my appreciation for this film has changed over the years. When I first watched it when I was younger, I didn't like it all that much. It was a bit too slow for me. And I think I, I saw Aliens before Alien. So I'd seen like the kick-ass action pack one before the much more slow burn movie. And it kind of just didn't do it for me all that much at the time. But over the years, I've I've watched it and rewatched it. I've been to the cinema to see it, and I just absolutely love it for its stripped down, terrifying premise. It's so simple, yet so scary. And that again, that's why Prometheus and Covenant don't work so much as precursors because this is just so simply made, but terrifying at the same time. It's one of the only kind of creature feature monster films that scare me because most of them are quite cheesy and I get more enjoyment from them than, than scariness. But this one, the use of the location, the sound, the fact that you don't see the alien all that much and that it sort of hides in between the ship is just terrifying. And this is, again, one of the only horror films where I actually care about every single character in it and I don't want to see them get killed. I, I feel bad whenever they get killed, which is almost unheard of in a horror film. So, over the years, I've come to appreciate Alien as probably a bit more of a slicker example of filmmaking than Aliens. That's kind of the only reason why it pipped it in this countdown. So, my number one choice for the franchise is Alien. Like I say, a bit of a hit and miss franchise. When I think about the franchise, I think, like, cinematic masterclass. But to be honest, in my opinion, it's only really Alien and Aliens that, that hold that kind of uh, accolade. The others in the movie, I can kind of take them or leave them. I get some enjoyment from them, but they're okay. But it's uh, an enjoyable franchise overall, and my number one choice is Alien. So let me know what you think about that, guys. Do you agree? Do you not agree? And if you don't, what would your order of these films be? I'd love to know. So thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.